challengers. Uh, you a nomad? I suppose you already seen the horses around the fair and grasslands then. Well, I grew up taming those horses and I polished my riding skills until they shine. In fact, I'm sure there's nobody better than me. But these days, I'm putting my riding skills to the test. That just ain't enough. So being the horse enthusiast that I am, I came up with a contest guaranteed to push me even further. Oh, what is this contest exactly? Why, it's a race to see how fast you can gallop around the course without losing the cargo off the horse's trailer. In fact, if you fancy yourself skilled in the horsemanship department, why not take a run at my, at my record? Uh, how does it work? The challenge here is to go as fast as you can without letting the cargo fall off the trailer. The course takes you one lap around the fair and grasslands. Don't go trying to enjoy the sights. You gotta get through the 10 checkpoints and cross the finish line as fast as you can. Do well, and there'll be some pony points in, in it for you. How about it? Think you got what it takes? Uh, I do, but uh, another time. Also, those two horses are in the exact same animation. That's it. I thought you had harder bark in you than that. Well, if you ever change your mind, come back and see me. I will, Blind. Hey there, partner. Did you head this way after hearing the rumors? Even without wings, you travel all the way here. That shows some serious reporter spirit. Well, let me give you the scoop. Some folks have heard a voice over here that sounds like Princess Zelda, that dastardly woman. I heard the chirps and warbles from my little birds and headed straight here, but something is fishy. For starters, the strange voice is crowing from furrow plains to the northwest, night after night after night. Leave the RMS. Leave the RMS. At least, that's what I heard. I didn't get too close. Got out of there so fast, felt like a curse just blowing up through the wind. No, sir, not gonna think about it. Anyway, all the travelers who heard the eerie voice have gotten spooked by it. They've been throwing their weapons down the well and running away as fast as they can. Could the voice really belong to that dastardly Princess Zelda? She's usually dastardly, not haunting. All we can do is seek out the truth, partner, even if it is a little scary. An eerie voice, a voice in the bathroom. I really hope it's that quest. Hey, partner, you're finding all this a little scary, aren't you? Can't blame you one bit if you are. Me, not at all, totally fine. Just worried about you is all. What I'm saying is I think we should investigate this story together. I think we should leave at night. I'll be waiting right here, so just come and get me when night falls. Looks like we have quite a few unique quests ahead of us, and... Oh well, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna go down the well. And my computer's gonna restart, and I'm gonna lose everything, and I'm gonna be very mad. I'm gonna be mighty mad, but I'm going to tempt fate. And I'm gonna blow this up, I'm gonna speed through this section as fast as possible. Give me that. And the bomb. Okay, there are some enemies. A lot of enemies. Enemies. Come on. Sir, you can die. Ow, 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 ow. I don't need to deal with you right now. I'm trying to kill this. Die. Okay, got him. Please die. Thank you. Okay. Let's open up the chest. Kind of speed run through the section. I just I just want to do it. I, I don't even know why. Uh, that's a worthless shield. I don't care. But I suppose we are in Kakariko Village territory. Okay, I did hit him. Come on. Move, move, move. Ah, oh, I missed. Okay, if you guys could fight, you know, the other enemies, that'd be great. This guy will die in one hit. You know what? Whew. Got him. That was close. That was close. Eat some bananas. Eat a... Uh, 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 sure, we'll eat that. Die! You, sir, are in the water, and you 
No, it's not that deep. Okay, come on. Oh, boy! Ow! Please don't pick up my weapon. Die, please. Man, you have so much HP. Come on. I'm going to kill you with these. Or Riju. Thank you, Riju. Okay, that was a bit of a scrap. Lost a little bit more health than I hoped to lose. But it's okay. And my reward for it, what I have to show for it, are some cardboard boxes and a chest. And inside that chest, which is full of wind, is another ancient blade. That's cool. I'm, I'm down to that. I haven't used those yet. In fact, one thing I would like to know. Are those basically uh, glorified Gibdo bones? Like, do those... Are those... If I put those on a weapon, are they essentially one-time use? Or does it basically turn my weapon into an ancient weapon that's super powerful? I really want to know that before I waste one. Also, why are there still enemies? Uh, you, sir, I'm just going to kill. Looks like there's... It's quite the little cave system here. But I should be able to kill this guy with a well-timed flurry rush. This should actually come close to killing him. Especially if he drowns. Then it it comes so close to killing him that he uh dies. He just dies. There's sticky lizards everywhere. A random mook, which I will murder. Very long, very, very long, uh, another, ro ooh, sheesh, that's a good weapon, um, yeah, I'll drop the, the Zonite sword, I'm actually not a huge fan of the Zonite stuff, because it, it tells you that it's really good with fusing, um, the Zonite devices, but then you do it, and it's like, oh, it's a 12 power Zonite sword, when everything else is a 50 power everything with Flurry Rush Plus and, like, a bajillion buffs, and it's like, why... Why do I care? Backflip! Okay. I have no idea what's at the end of this. I'm... I don't even know what to expect. Is this a shrine? I don't have my shrine sensor yet, so it's hard to tell. This almost feels like the lead up into a shrine. Whoa, what? What? You know what? This is worth blowing up. I am not worth blowing up. There goes a fairy. <laughs> uh, discovery. The beach? That's a weird reward. Uh, not the reward I was expecting. There's just nothing here? Hold on. Certainly that's not true. I mean, other than the truffles, which are, while valuable, hardly the way to cap off a cave. Okay, so I suppose that's the reward. Weird, man. Next time, in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Honestly, we probably complete, I, and by next time, I mean next recording session, we probably complete uh, Southern Hyrule. I can't imagine there's too much left. We're probably going to be going into the depths and handling the Thunderhead, which I think would be great if we saved it for last. See you guys then. Oh, one more thing. While this was a re-recording, I had a lot of fun. In fact, I dare say this re-record was just as good as the original, if not a little bit better. All right, see you guys next recording session. <laughs>